Hello lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Trina and today I've created this no foundation easy makeup look to go well with red bold lips. So if you're interested, then please keep on watching. So I've already moisturized my skin very well. So let's move on with our base makeup. So first I'll be contouring my face and for that I'm using this palette from Nykaa. And I'm taking the darkest shade as my contour shade with the help of an angular concealer brush and I'm just applying it to sculpt my face. I absolutely love this palette when it comes to contouring and correcting my face. I'm also contouring my nose. Next I will be blending all very well because it's very tricky to work with cream products because if you don't blend it really well it's going to look more harsh. Since it is no foundation makeup look so I'm using a concealer from LA Girl in the shade Fawn which is very close to my skin shade and just applying it everywhere where I'd like to conceal and cover up my pigmentation or any unevenness, any acne scars. I'm also applying that so as to, you know, give it a lifted look to my cheekbone. And the concealer did a pretty good job to conceal and correct and hide my pigmentation and dark spots. Next to highlight my face, I'm using the e.l.f. Cosmetics Concealer. I will be writing down the shade names in the description box. So make sure you check that out. And I'm applying the usual areas where I like to conceal. On my forehead, on my nose, underneath my eyes, a little bit on my chin and sides of my mouth. One thing I've noticed is that this concealer tends to dry up really quickly. So when you apply it, you have to blend it really quick. As you can see, I was literally dragging my beauty blender to make sure that it's well blended. Okay, so I'm using the Fit Me Loose powder to just set the areas where I have applied the concealer to make sure that it doesn't crease. Next, I'll be bronzing up my face. I'm using the sugar bronzer and applying it on the areas where I have contour. Next step is to apply my bronzer. I'm using the color bar bronzer and I'm applying it on my high points of my cheekbone and I'm taking it up to my temples and applying it on my chin as well. The next is just I'm spraying my fixing spray from Maybelline and setting everything in place. Then I'll do my eyebrows really quick and you can see I have bushy eyebrows so I'm just filling up the gaps in between. Using that same LA Girl concealer, I'm just cleaning up under my eyebrows and also priming my eyelid. So it's going to be very easy and quick eye makeup. So first I'm using that K-Beauty eyeshadow stick and I'm applying that on my outer portion of my eyes. You can see these sticks are very easy and convenient to use. They are also travel friendly. So I've applied it and I'm just smudging it and I'm blending it with a flat shader brush. The best part of these eyeshadow sticks are that um, they are highly pigmented and it's very smooth to work with. And you can build up the color as much as you want. I'm also applying that on my lower lash line as well and I'm smudging it with that same shader brush. Next I'm taking the sugar eyeshadow stick. This is in the shade Topaz or anything. I'll be writing down the shade name. You can see that shine is just beautiful and I'm applying that on my inner portion of my eyes and I'm blending it with that previous red shade. And you can see that transition looks very smooth and beautiful. This is very easy to recreate. Just pop on and you're ready to go for any event or any party. And you can see how amazing that looks. 
I'm also applying that on my inner portion of my lower lash line. Now I'm using this eyeliner from Nykaa and I'm doing a small wing. If you want to, you can make it more dramatic as you wish to. So I like it small like this. And now I'm applying lots of mascara. This is the Maybelline Snap Mascara. And this is pretty much the complete eye look. And this quick easy eye look will complement really well with red bold lipstick. So here I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. If you want to know more about Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, I have a review video on the lipstick that I own. This is one of my favorite lipstick. This is so smooth and that wand is, is just unique. And you can see this is pretty much the complete look. Then I'm just using this Maybelline highlighter and applying it on my high points of my face. I feel that these classy simple looks go really well with red bold lips. So if you want to recreate this look, go ahead and do it. It was very quick and easy. And if you like this tutorial, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell button to stay updated whenever I post a new video. So thank you for watching. Bye.